Senator McGuire. Thank you so much. I'm going to deal with uh, three specific issues, uh, Senator Weiner, and I'm not going to rehash last week. So, um, first of all, uh, and one is a comment and not a question. Um, I, I think it's important. Uh, and have had several conversations with individuals on city councils uh, within the North Bay uh, that the amendment uh, that uh, both senators have worked through with the chair and Senator Weiner is replacing shall with should uh, to do away with the unintended mandate to ensure future housing production has been met. Um, and I think that is a, a significant amendment for local governments, candidly. The, uh, the, and that's where I've heard a lot of concerns uh, from local governments. On developed areas, I know that you were having a conversation earlier about developed areas, uh, and I also know this is a work in progress. One of the items obviously want to uh, avoid, and I know that I don't want to put words into the senator's mouth, but I'm sure he wants to avoid, and particularly in unincorporated communities, are non uh, are in non-developed or small communities in unincorporated areas. So one of the areas, I know that you're going to be working with COGS, Lega City, CSAC, RCRC as well, but looking at those priority development areas, like for example in the County of Sonoma, for example, on the Board of Supervisors, that have already been identified, uh, that are unincorporated communities that are connected somewhat to transit or connected completely with a rail line, that could be uh, potentially a focus uh, for those priority developed areas. Uh, and that's candidly where the vast majority of unincorporated um, County unincorporated urbanized areas, yeah, like so, Sacramento and your county. And yeah. So I, anyway, county. as you go forward, um, assuming is that I think that's an area that will need to be uh, focused in on and not sprawling out right uh, within other areas. I'm. Uh, I know you're. I, I don't. I don't like sprawl. Yeah. So I'm. I'm all. I'm. I'm all for avoiding sprawl. And and that's why I just want to bring it up and not trying to put any words in the mouth, but I just. Uh, making sure. Um, and I think the other piece is, um, and it was a significant amendment, uh, again, going from uh, down from 200%. So uh, not at all trying to rehash what you've already discussed, um, but I think that the important piece of, of this is focusing on what those affordable housing goals are, understanding they're moving the needle, um, and the shall to should. Um, and I think that's important, and that's why I'm going to be supporting the bill today.